All right, PMG fam, anybody new to a Project Moongold hub or community, smash the like button. We're going to look at the worst case scenario, the best case scenario, where to dollar cost average, where to take profit, where to exit the market. And we're looking at Bitcoin today. Now, Bitcoin has been on a massive, massive uptrend, guys, for a while. Now, since our last video, since our live stream, a lot of you know I've been calling 25k. It is not off the table yet, and I'll explain my scenario. Whether you like it or not, this is cryptocurrency, and I'm here to tell you, you have to base your predictions and your view of the market on trend, downtrend, uptrend, breakout, breakout, or fake out. All right, and you're able to see that on trend, you're able to see that on price action. And there are, of course, other TA indicators and stuff, right? So this is an idea that Bitcoin can do. And honestly, I think it is going to happen. But I'm going to give you guys the worst case and the best case scenario. First, we want to flip over to the weekly. Your weekly stochastic RSI is completely overbought and your K and D line. So your orange line is over your blue what that means is that you're reversing for that uh, for that particular time frame, three days and eight hours. We also have BX Trender turning red, but it looks like there's a bit of sideways action. So from even from about 24 in a macro view, this is a lot of sideways action, right? Your RSI, however, is bouncing. So this is very good. Um, we were dropping at first and now... It is pretty much bouncing off of the trend, which after this, and if it bounces off of the trend and it can hold that next week, what is the major liquidity area, the major key level we can push for? Honestly, 33, dollars $32,000 Bitcoin. Okay, so that is the weekly time frame. However, the daily time frame is really what I want to take a look at. The indicators I have my screen are... MCDX smart money. We have our stochastic RSI. We have our RSI. We have our BX trender. And we'll talk about BX in a bit because although it is green and I know a lot of you know I use it, there's a caveat to that one. So let's draw our trend line here. There's a lot of manipulation in the market recently, guys. A lot of people telling false information on YouTube whether we're going to go to 40K or 10K. I I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to give you guys an idea right now. And this is looking like it'll play out possibly. So we can see we've been following a channel since $16,000 Bitcoin. Here's the idea. We bounced off of the channel. We pumped all the way to the top of the channel, rejected at 31. Okay. We are bouncing off of our baseline or conversation line really right here. This is very, very important. Channels are king, trends are king, and they will show breakout or fake out right now. This, if this closed right here, we kept on pushing, pushing multiple times. If this closed below, obviously we would drop to that 25, but we aren't. So there's a couple scenarios that are going to play out. Daily is moving straight up. I don't see us going to 25 anytime soon. Honestly, if we hit 25 at that point and we hit the top, we're probably going to go back to the bottom of the channel. As long as we're following the channel, guys, this will play out at some point in time. It doesn't matter when. However, if we break the channel, everybody listening, if we break the channel, we are going to skyrocket. And then this idea for 25 and this idea for 22K is gone kaput right because you broke the structure from january of 2023 okay so you broke that structure now here's an idea you come in double top which is a major area of supply and this is a rejection area a major order block area where market maker is going to push up price to because that was the previous price this means market maker will build shorts and if market maker is going to build shorts in this area that every time they push up price they're building shorts. So the smart trader would be building shorts. Down here, the long trader, or I mean the smart trader, is building longs, even though we're dropping, okay? So market maker could push the price up here, double top, and then that would take you to your 24, 3 to 25, 
24-9 scenario. However, if you look at the top of the channel, this is another scenario that honestly I think is going to happen. So we are going to hit this wick right here, which was a very prominent wick before the drop right here to right here, 31.8. I think 31.8 is very, very possible, especially because your daily stochastic is moving up. Now, you want to look at your daily as well, your daily RSI. So as of right now, this is a trend that you're following on your RSI. Typically, you want to reach the bottom and then reach the top and then the bottom and then the top. But the market is extremely bullish right now. I'm going to show you a Bitcoin dominance chart as well. So. As of right now, based on that channel, we are looking at about $32,000 Bitcoin to about 31.8 Bitcoin. You're really looking for the push of the top of the channel. Will it happen today? Will it happen on the weekend? Will it happen in the next couple of days? We'll have to see. Typically, based on previous history, May is a walk away month from Bitcoin, and then we pick up in the summer. But anything could happen. We do got a lunar eclipse coming, staring us in the face, which is a really deep lunar eclipse. If you look into those the last time, um, this is going to sound crazy to people that don't understand moon cycles or, or the stars or anything in crypto. But Luna got attacked and FTX got attacked all on the lunar eclipse. So we'll have to see what happens there. Guys, this is just an idea because right now we're on an uptrend, a macro uptrend in the market. However, if this is a true uptrend or breakout, we're going to break out. But if not, we're looking for this target and then we're looking for... At this point, we'd probably be looking for around 24.5 target. And if it breaks that, you're breaking structure, you're going to come down 19, 18, 16, double bottom is very, very possible. Okay. So that is a parallel channel. I'm saying 25K is not off the table for now, but I'm leaning towards this channel's looking like not what I'm leaning towards. This channel and the uptrend is looking like 32K is very, very possible if we can keep it or we double top around 30,000. So make sure you guys understand the trend in the top of resistance. Here's another thing too. Your daily's coming right up. Once that hits the top, this thing is going to run unless it reverses kind of like it did here or here. So we got to watch out for that. There's still a ton of smart money left in Bitcoin on higher time frames. Now, micro view, we look at Bitcoin and we see we, we rejected the breakout. So I was only going to post this video after the four hour close. And right here is the rejection. So your one hour is overbought. If you go to your 15 minute time frame, you have a double top. You broke out of your uh, your pennant, if you will. And now you're rejecting. You got about 40 minutes left. You can see on BX Trender, and I said I'll talk about it. Right now, your histograms are still red. BX Trender is green, red, green, red, basically along the board here. This is all sideways action until it is not. Once this turns dark red, and this is red, then you're going to notice a drop. It kind of works like your MACD or your death line um, or histograms with uh, your moving averages and stuff like that. A very good indicator. I recommend you look into it. So as you see, we're rejecting, right? I'm not taking this trade up here. I'm taking the trade here. I'm taking a short right here. Or I'm taking a short when it breaks the 15, which is also the trend because technically you are still in this pennant. So for me, even though we're dropping, this is still in the pennant. We closed in the pennant. We closed under the 29.2, and we also closed in the channel. So if you break this support right here, again, non-financial advice, guys. This is a Bitcoin idea based on what I see, okay? If you break that support, you're most likely going to come down to this area around 28.2 to about 28.1 which is a major area where Bitcoin bounced. And 
crypto charts, stocks, trading, options, binary, everything. It doesn't matter what it is. They always like to come back to key levels where they push to the day before or the week before. So in my personal opinion, if you're rejecting, you're going to come back and push. You might double bottom here or you break this or you consolidate in this area. If you break the baseline, if you break the baseline, the conversation line, 50%, then you come down to this area, and to be honest, 26K is not off the table if you break this major support at 27.1. Let me say that again. 26K is not off the table, and 25K if you break this area. If you guys are holding Bitcoin and in a bullish mindset or in a bearish mindset, and this breaks out, you're going to get wrecked. Bearish mindset. If you're holding Bitcoin and you are in a bullish mindset, and this breaks this wick right here, you're going to get wrecked, okay? So market maker is definitely playing games. The market is playing games. There's a lot of bullish news, a lot of bearish news, FRC crashing, all this stuff, okay? So now we want to look at a Fibonacci here, and then we're going to end the video, guys. Smash the like button. We got a live at 10 p.m. CST Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure you check it out, okay? We got a Fib to here to here. We draw it. This is what is very, very bullish about Bitcoin. I wanted to leave you guys with the last bullish scenario here. So we never hit our 25K because we're bouncing off of our main consolidation resistance point right here. 25K would have been if we broke. It was looking like we were going to break. We didn't. Next target is 30,008. We break this, we come back and we test this area right here. Next target is $36,000 Bitcoin. So if you're holding a Fibonacci on this, and uh, I do my Fib a bit different, how I do it works. If you flip it around, it is the 382, vice versa, the golden pocket 618.618. The top is $40,000 Bitcoin. But you need to close at this area $30,000 as support, guys. I'll come back. I'll do another price prediction for Bitcoin tomorrow. This is an idea. If you guys like what I do, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the PMG fam. We got a coaching group. We got a mentorship group, www.clubmoongle.com. Uh, our coaching is insane. We do day trading five days a week, 24-7 around the clock support for your questions and answers for myself and other educators that trade millions of dollars a day. All right, we'll see you on the live, guys.